book is happening. Mm-hmm. Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? <laughs> oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? <laughs> Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Mm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right! Your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Whoa. Is no one going to take our order? It's been like a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. The whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? Yeah, you're getting called back to your universe there. What is that? Oh. Oh shit. Dude. Your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. What? Investigate the noise. The people have spoken. The snapping turtles new soup flavor is drum roll, please. Senegalese peanut stew. Congrats, everyone. Hell yeah, democracy wins. Stew isn't soup. <laughs> the people have spoken. The people are wrong. It's funny. Alright, let's look at this one. The final final deadline for essays is 6 p.m. today. Please be prompt. What if I'm a couple hours late? Please email me about extensions, Reggie, but a few hours should be fine. Awesome. Let's see here. So... Where? Wait. No. Oh. Okay. Wait. wait. Oh my God, I'm so lost with this thing. I had a lovely view tonight. The meter shower was great too. Really? This is the pick you pose. You're supposed to say I'm sweet. That's a given, sweetie. But there were better photos. It's the only pick with you in it. Oh, okay. That is sweet. I miss you two drinks later. So that's Claudia. There are a few spots left on the wait list, wait list for crafting a memoir in the spring. Sign up before they're full. All majors are welcome. I've heard nothing but good things about this class from my students. Thank you, Livia Diamond. I wouldn't call myself a writer, but I was a lot more confident about my writing after this class. Highly recommend. You are a talented writer, Diamond. No quotes needed. Keep writing. Thanks, Prof. Hunter. Drew wouldn't recommend if you're not an English major. I specifically said all majors are welcome. You say that, but it's too hard if you're not just my opinion. You say that, but it's too hard if you're not just my opinion. Oh. I'm not an English major and I passed. You're not everyone. I know why you didn't pass. Kick rocks, clown. It's her class. Wouldn't she know who's welcome? Exactly. I guess that's that's it. Okay. But to ace my finals like I ace two straight rounds of beer pong. <laughs> I 
Uh, notes. Film student Moses T.A. Jr. Abraxan comes to my seminars. Gwen, creative nonfiction professor, Safi's mentor, author of If the Highway Should Take Me as Its Wife. Journalism student, sophomore, occasionally comes to my seminars. True crime podcaster, blackmailer, annoying, avoid. Lucas professor, department chair, literature, best-selling author of Wilder Beasts Than These. Real humble about it too. <laughs> That's me. Moses, grad student, astrophysicist, Safi's best friend, my acquaintance, Reggie, econ student, junior, a vaccine frequent attender of my seminars. Safi, grad student, poetry major, my best friend. Yasmin's administrative assistant, Vin, a president of Abraxas. Yasmin, president of Caledon University, Safi's mom. Amanda, snapping through the bartender, comedian, live music enjoyer. I have a big stupid crush. All right. Um, oh, shit. I uh, still have messages to check. Here you go. Okay, what is this? Hey, Max, just trying out this new number someone gave me. Also, good morning. I get it. Mornings are for suckers. You didn't have to say it back. I'm just stoked about our date. Cool, guess you're busy, so hit me up when you can. Uh, what is this now? I've been wanting to shoot in abandoned space. Okay, what are you thinking? Done and done. One thirty. How does one thirty sound? Uh, so okay. What is one? He makes just got to the north quad. Usual spots you need to do. So it's not exactly the warmest of December days. Let me know if you're running late. I don't mind personally, but you know how my mom is about tardiness. Right. This little shit Loretta thinks she's Geraldo, what college student goes to this length to get a scoop. I still don't know what's up with Gwen, and she probably hates me, and what does she mean one snoop to another, I snoop for good. Gwen is still acting shady as hell, there could be something there. I'm glad we did this. This? I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. Safia, come now. Huh. The day I get a candy of Safi will be my crowning achievement. I swear, one day I'll get a candy of Safi. They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. So what is this noise? Wow, these really are the worst lines I've seen. I'm a computer, can I crash at your place tonight? Did you just suplex me? Cause you took my breath away. Are you made of fluorine, iodine, and neon? Because you're F-I-N-E. Right, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so there's an Amanda. Wherever I am, looks like fear still exists. Unfortunate. I'm gonna try and uh, investigate the noise. Can I just talk to her real quick? Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. <laughs> uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just. You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked, is all. Oh, so 
so I asked you out. Oh my god. I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit. This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Sophie isn't dead. So are you gonna tell me what happened? Mm-hmm, you better. Uh I drank like way too much the other night. I didn't been in kind of a state for two days well <laughs> were you kids mixing liquor and paint thinner i didn't mean to make you feel like crap hey shit happens i won't bug you about it just didn't love it i should get back to work take it easy eh so take it if easy. i didn't rewind this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still mm -hmm. talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same. Except... It's happy as a life. I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming. And whatever caused it. Yeah, there's police tape around it. Oh. Gender neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. When standing is at a shift point, use L1 to shift timelines. So that's what it was. Holy shit. I'm I'm back, aren't I? In Dead world. This is so fucking crazy. The current timeline is displayed for a limited amount of time after shifting or after recalling your current objective. New message from Moses, new message from Vint. We we'll go back to Safi and Yasmin. Um He makes sense for taking a minute to talk to me in the fab. Earlier I needed that. There's something else, but probably best not to say over text. Yeah, let's meet up later. Sure, is everything all right? My guide tells me so. it's not good news. Because why would it be? <sighs> uh, imagine doing uh, Safi. Safi, I think we should talk. Oof. How could Vin mix me up with Safi? Mm-hmm. Makes no makes no sense. So I'm supposed to go back. It's just so Living. Wow. It's pretty cool. Okay. So I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. Peanut soup was the nut churl choice. <laughs> Hope you aren't allergic. Alright, let's go back to them. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. <laughs> oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know. Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <laughs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. What? Fuck, Zafi. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? <laughs> Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> the 
this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have? What? It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. A broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. Hold up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? So do I still have to go back there? I can... Yeah, I have to go back there? Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. And sound. <laughs> Fuck. Size does matter. I'm gonna have to find a way to get up there. Size does matter. I'm pretty oh. sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Closed for the season. It's beautiful. Can I go over here? No. Where's the step letter? Let's talk to Amanda, can? No. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer. Except... No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only, I hate that they canceled Krampus I know you. one dead student. If you sent me a gift, Jesus. it means you won't be coming this year either. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. But, honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. I love them. Right, next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. That should help me reach the cow skull. What? Oh, this thing. I can grab it here. Uh, how do I do it? So I just have to grab this thing. Wait, let's talk to this guy. I wonder what they're prepping for. It's like Christmas, but not Christmas. Did you do any... What's all this? Is there a live event happening? Do you like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh sweet, another newbie. Hope you come.
So I brought it with me now. There you go. Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh shit. Did Lucas smash Sophie's windshield? He's a dick, but I don't know if he's <laughs> a property damage level dick. But why would anyone else bother snapping his name off? Weird. This is weird. Yep. I wonder if anyone at the Snapping Turtle saw the whole thing go down. Time to investigate. Uh, hi Max. I'm just reaching out to see if you've heard from Moses. He's been closed off past day, so I'm worried about him. Sophie was first to sign up. She read this gorgeous poem honoring a dead friend. She never signed up again. She was like a match. Burned brightly and left as fast. As fast as she came. R.I.P. Sophie. <sighs> 24 hours later and still no word about the death of a grad student on campus. A grad student who was daughter of Caledon's president, really. I know they the same Caledon that was voted safest campus in the Northeast. If you need me to come get you, let me know. Can't believe she's really gone. Literally just saw her last night at the turtle. Well, if the school isn't going to act, I will. Let me do a little digging. Sophia Llewellyn Fayed was a strong, talented woman with endless potential. She's a loss to this world. That I'll never forget. My heart goes out to her family. I hope we get some answers soon. If we do, it won't be from the cops. They're dragging their feet. Can't believe this happened on campus. What was she doing out there by herself anyway? She was too young. Um, fast living world band about the cow scale. There's a snapping turtle, so... Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? <laughs> Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year, or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> Alright, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. <laughs> and I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. <laughs> Uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you mm -hmm. serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Hmm. Did you know it had Lucas's name on it? Who? Oh. Colmenero. That makes sense. He's the one who donated it. Seriously? Why a cow skull? I have no idea. I'm like physically incapable of listening to that dude when he talks.
Did you see him in here last night? Lucas? I don't think so. Why? You think he broke into the turtle to, what, steal back his cow skull? <laughs> I didn't say it was a good theory. Did you see anything suspicious? I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Six? Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Fuck, I need to think. What is going on? Find the skull rustler. Save Safi. Hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmanero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I could start with him. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. Time to start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves. Speak to Living World Wind. Speak to Living World Gwen. Speak to Living World Lucas. Nikrosok from Yasmin. Where is it? What does the. Okay. There are a few joys in life. Great trade and sharing a meal with your daughter, even if the venue could be better. Hey now, the Snapping Turtle is a fine establishment and I will not have you impugn her honor like this. Then I resigned my remark. There are many joys greater than sharing a meal with your daughter. Well played. Agreed. Having lunch with Safi is always an adventure because I never know how many of my fries she'll steal. Moses, please, when have I ever stolen your fries? Max and I usually take bets beforehand on how many. Stealing french fries? Safiya, you can afford french fries. Ugh, mom, he's joking. Tell her you're joking, Moses. I feel the same way about having lunch with my partner. Scheduling makes it difficult, but it's lovely when we can make it happen. All I do is vin. Oh, dear lord. Fries and gran! What's the point of putting together an outfit if it's too difficult in Vermont for anybody to see it? I fucking know, right? I have a bunch of scarves that I trade out, but it's, it gets boring after a while. I like your coat. Where did you get it, by the way? I have no idea. I'll come look at your wardrobe. If you come to my office, I'll kick your ass. Victoria? Photographing Montserrat and Dino and for Gay's magazine was a dream come true. Nice. There's substantial art out here, but people are too afraid to take a chance. There's nothing new under the sun by design. Lake Champlain in Grey Morning. You ever feel like you've wasted the last couple of years of your life slamming your head against the wall? You're not smart enough to break through? No, good, me neither. Change your major, dude. You want to get a drink? Fuck okay, yes. Your career? Outlook with an econ degree is much better than pretty much any other major at Killzone. The impossible happens, Safi. I'm too cool for nerd card games. The only for you, I recently joined Mana Massive, Massive Draft Night and crushed it. <laughs> this yellow snow part of the rainbow. <laughs> Wise words. Don't bring a knife to a toy gun fight. Word. Hey, sorry if I was a little hard on you, just don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. You won't until you get what you're upset. I won't be a stranger, I promise. So are we okay? Yeah, we good. We good! Alright, now let's do this stuff. Wait. 
Um, speak to living world. Speak to living world. Okay, let's yeah, speak to Vin. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. This world's Vin also seems to enjoy an audience. What? And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Huh. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension... Etc. Hmm. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Whoa. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting endeavor, maintaining snow art. Man, what's stopping you from dressing like this? His abs are literally sculpted. <laughs> Diamonds in Abraxas. Maybe she knows what Ven is looking for. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? Ooh. That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. <laughs> him? I mean, I was just looking to dance. If I wanted more, he would not be my first choice. <laughs> Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. Whatever that means. What even qualifies as unabraxis like? Let's see. Sincerity, brokenness, or the hint of brokenness. Oh, and challenging Vin's authority. Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. Okay. Let's go. It's like an ex Phil. They have our man and he knows too much. Hey. Shh. Huh? Oh. H hey there. Oh, uh, hey. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for, and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Ven Good seems talk. really distracted. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying be without important. them catching me. What did Ven put these guys up to? Well, I don't know. Oh, I have to switch. Right, so where's that area? 
Is it there? I should see what... Oh, wow. I hate that these are on both sides. <laughs> Last time I was at this bench was different. clearly takes priority. How do I protect the Sophie I have left? Should I be worried? The last time I had powers, everything went to complete and utter shit. Scary. Vin's phone, oh. and they think it was diamond. I can use this. So cool. So, how do you keep things fresh <laughs> after literal decades of passionate embracing? Go Cardinals? So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. <laughs> Seriously? They think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course they do. Of course. <laughs> I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. But if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. The Vin Lang mold seems pretty resilient, Diamond. Everything does, Max. Until it isn't. Huh. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... One of those <laughs> yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit.
Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. Report back to Vin. That person's skating on thin ice. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. So... Bad news? I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news? It wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. <laughs> you figured all that out with, like, zero clues. I just knew who to ask. And how. So, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after 7, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. Oh, come on. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn. Do I have so much to teach you? So your place or mine? What? Sounds like a profoundly underwhelming evening. Oh, don't knock it till you've tried it. So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? Mm-hmm. Ben? You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. <laughs> A cow skull. What are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. Mm hmm it certainly seemed performative. And anonymous. What would even be the point? Besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Huh. Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. Wow. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Well, well, ben, well. What did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. <laughs> I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Uh, biohazard? One night. As I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And oh my god. They left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? <laughs> this was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice. And I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. That's funny. Jeez, Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad. I've got questions. Let's do it. Max. <sighs> oh. Being weird there. Being sus, Lucas. Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just 
Put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. Mm-hmm. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. And... Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. How? Instant lock opening powers would be great. <laughs> in the meantime, I have to find that key. <sighs> his notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. And probably get the key. Going to the. Hey, Rati. Done any more work on that proposal yet? <sighs> Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Very weird. Lucas. Max, it's been a hard day. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a lot of stuff. All tangled together. It's hard to parse. When my dad passed, well... Grief is an easy country to get lost in. No matter how many times you visit. Doesn't get easier. <laughs> That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? Standee. Can't say I have. Huh. I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo have really declined over the years. We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can it's talk. It's a shame. How did he get that key? Years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to... Go give something to Moses, um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. How are you gonna do this, Max? Distract Lucas. It's an excellent cover, isn't it? Guess that explains why his signature was on the thing. Hmm. What's the deal with the skull? Ah, you haven't read it, I see. The symbolism is clever, but not lofty. Right. They've got the original skull up in the snapping turtle, you know. Had my book launch party there. Oh, yeah? You can have that copy if you want. It's already signed. <laughs> if Lucas really is somehow involved... This might come in handy. Now, what? Huh. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Yep. Dare I channel my <laughs> inner Chloe? <laughs> Graffiti. Vandalism. Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? Devil? Yeah. The classics are classics for a reason. <laughs> oh Nicely my done. goodness! Who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. That would be me.
She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some Dude. people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid mark. All right, Lucas. Let's see if you're the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. What do we have? Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Sophie's car. So, <sighs> who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. Satisfying though it is. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. So this is how the literati spend their free time. That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? It's His a agent ticket. tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. Sophie? Location for temporary restraining order, protected person, Lucas, protected persons, minor children, Roberto, restrained person, Sophia, relationship of parties, colleagues. On more than one occasion, the restrained person purposefully did one or more of the following to the protected person, followed, monitored, or surveilled, threatened, or made threats, interfered with property. I, the protected person, certified that these statements are true. Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Safi? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Why? Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him, but I never, I mean, I could never, <laughs> the shit Robbie says I told him, it, it, it makes me sick to think about. Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention. No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean, where would a kid even get ideas like that? He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen, Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's what? capable of it. Wait. 
Why would Robbie trust Sophie? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Sophie's car. Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first. Without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But... Oh... What if it's not? It's weird. Oh. You're right. I have no reason to believe you over her. You're not as good of a person as you like to pretend, Caulfield. I'm not pretending. Maybe you and Sophie deserve each other. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. <laughs> Should try Gwen's office next. No, more trouble. Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty what? of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This what is the? crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all I just guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. <laughs> Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. Gwen left so much behind. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. Ooh, search Gwen's desk. It's a nice office. I like it. Look at all these plants and the posters. Honestly, it's pretty awesome. Let's examine. Get a you computer. Do what, Gwen? What is this about? To Dr. Ratif Meha. Hi, Rade. There's no good way to say this, but Yasmin put me on unpaid leave pending a disciplinary meeting. I'm not supposed to talk about the details but if you hear any rumors please know i would never do this i'm not stupid or desperate i don't know how long i'll be gone so can you water my plants some of these little guys have been thriving for years now and i'm not letting Caledon kill them i owe you a drink gwen canceled her weekly meetings with safi why thesis check-in Reggie got an A minus? I saw him before he saw me. He was standing on top of a couch in the breakfast house living room yelling a monologue and he had a golden crown in his dark hair. Everyone faced him like he was really a king and in that moment I thought I'm so fucked. Way to go on a high note. This is your best writing of the semester. Diamond. I didn't think he would ask me to be a CA for astronomy 101. I mean, I've never taken an astronomy class in my life, but then he said, I asked you because you can do anything, Diamond. 
never seen you mess up. At first I thought, that's not true, but then I thought, wait, if he believes I can do anything, maybe I really can. This is a very good med meditation on confidence. You compellingly trace this history of your relationship with your own worth. That's it? You still write about yourself with some hesitation. Something I don't hear when you speak in class. Ask yourself why that is. Keep writing. Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a bee. We don't know when the first ever adoption happened. That's because humans have been caring for each other's children since the beginning of the recorded history. The word adoption comes to us from Latin. It means to take by choice. This is a well-researched piece about social practices of adoption. Good job citing your sources, but this isn't a personal essay because there's nothing personal here. I get this since you didn't have the time or inclination. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Oh, you're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well. What? Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe. Babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. Well. Um, Dr. Hunter, this is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're all right. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want you here to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted what out. What did she do? Yes. That's it, right? Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. Damn, talk about a green thumb. <laughs> Memoir. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Wow. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Fiction, non-fiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the caked up Mothman goaded with the sauce. <laughs> God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? These emails are from way back. Like, before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. Thank you again for letting me turn to... Tur for me turn in a memoir piece in... What? Thank you again for letting me turn in a memoir piece in verse. I'm really into poetry this semester. I might make it my creative writing focus. I have a question though. What does the note your voice doesn't feel like your own mean? Thanks. 
Safi, happy to explain your memoir in verse is technically very impressive. Most people sound like broken records when they write villanelle, villanelles. But the voice feels less like you and more like you're imitating classic poets. Ask yourself, how can you inhabit your own words more comfortably? Cheers. Gwen, thanks again for being w willing to read this. I had to write down what I felt or I'd fucking explode. Do you think there's anything here? Is it weird that I'm already writing about her? The willows are whipping. The fruit is rotting from the branch. I saw her glowing and I saw her go out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm no longer anything else. Hey, Safi. Never feel weird for wanting to write about pain or whatever. It is that's clogging the pipes in your mind. This poem is raw and honest and I can tell. My advice is to be more specific and personal with that last line. What does it mean for you to no longer feel anything else? I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was <sighs> this involved. Okay. This is the book I got for Gwen. What's in there? So Gwen is asking questions about Safi's death. They are. Do you see Safi at your poetry group on Friday night? Or at all over the weekend? If so, sh did she seem off? Did she mention getting any news? Leave your answers in this book and return it to the library. I don't want anyone to know I'm asking questions. DGH. DGH. I saw Safi at poetry on Friday and for coffee on Sunday. She seemed fine, seemed happy. Didn't mention any news. Not that I heard of. Least is everything okay? This is all kind of freaking me out. Or Alpha 1 5. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. These emails are from way back. Like, before Safi knew she wanted to be a poet. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences, knowing, but I prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. Huh. Hey babe, just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm in all his staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. Well, well, well. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. Stupid call with Maria. Do not forget email Maria. Find out what Gwen talked to Maria about. Alright, Hacker Max. <laughs> Let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book cancelled? What? Hello, Gwen. Thank you again for taking the time to talk with me last week. I have discussed the concerns you raised with my senior editor over the weekend, and he agrees they are sufficient to merit action. We have begun the process of pulling Sophia's project, all the daughters we don't talk about. I know this isn't the outcome any of us exactly wanted, but I really appreciate your insights on the matter. I hope to work with you again soon. Hi, Maria. I'm just reaching out to follow up on our conversation from Friday. I know I dropped a bit of a bomb on you, but you, but have you had a second? Uh, uh, have you had a chance to discuss my concerns with your senior? I appreciate. These emails are from way back. 
I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Hope Venn's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Venn about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. You found it! Kudos! Max! Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I... I'm, I'm such an idiot, I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Huh. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. Ooh. This must belong to someone flashy. And forgetful. And cold. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. He looks kind of like he's trying to read my mind. Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. What can I do you for? Are you pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. Any particular reason why? <laughs> World is a fuck, etc., etc. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi. Max, this is about you and me. Jeez. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max.
Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. <laughs> uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Minus what if? five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? Not worth talking about. What about you? Where did you drink? At the risk of ruining my rakish reputation, gotta admit, wasn't much of a drinker till I landed here. Hmm. You came to Caledon for theater, right? <laughs> Got it in one. You know your Vin lore. Theater boy. <laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. You feel. Haunted. What? <laughs> Don't worry, it's good. Uh, haunted people are interesting. Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people have to live inside their haunted brains. <laughs> yeah. They do. I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Hmm. I don't do foot stuff. Foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. 